Hi, I'm Jude from HeadFi.org. On this episode of HeadFi TV, we're going to talk about Can Jam New York 2017, which happened a couple of weekends ago at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square. It was incredible. The most well-attended Can Jam so far with exhibitors and attendees, with friends new and years long, coming from all over the world for what turned out to be not just two days of Can Jam, but several days of fun activities and get-togethers surrounding Can Jam. Ethan Napoleon, who goes by Third Eye on HeadFi and who's now the full-time lead organizer and producer of HeadFi's Can Jam global shows around the world, Ethan and I started seriously discussing a New York Can Jam perhaps a couple years ago. Now, admittedly, the idea of a Can Jam in the Big Apple made us a bit nervous. Some of our friends had warned us that New York was one of the places hi-fi shows go to die. But Can Jam isn't a typical hi-fi show. It's a showcase of what's perhaps the fastest growing, most spirited segment of the premium audio world. Personal audio, premium headphone audio. A living embodiment of what we discuss online on HeadFi's forums. Also, as I mentioned in the Can Jam New York preview video, going back to New York was a sort of return to the roots of Can Jam anyway. The first such event we had being the 2006 National HeadFi Meet in Queens, and the New York community is one of the biggest, most vibrant HeadFi communities in the world, and has been since the very beginning. So, did it work out? Yeah, Can Jam New York was perhaps the best Can Jam so far. The audio enthusiast energy was intensely positive, happy, strong. It was as close to the feeling of one of Tokyo's big headphone shows as I've ever felt outside of Japan. And Tokyo's major headphone shows, the Fujiya Avic Tokyo Headphone Festivals and the E-Earphone Portafests, those shows are still some of our biggest inspirations. We've been going to Tokyo for years and we've wanted to be able to bring the energy of those kinds of shows to places all over the world. That's why we do Can Jam Global. One of the grooviest things about Can Jam is that it's grown to not just be two days of audio, but a social hub around which friends plan other events, get-togethers, business, and even vacations. And again, in New York this year, there were a lot of other goings on in addition to the Saturday and Sunday Can Jam show days. Ethan, Joe, Brian, and I arrived on Thursday for pre-show preparation at the hotel, but also to attend an event that night at Jungle City Studios in which Focal was introducing their limited edition Focal Utopia Tornair headphones. Now, Jungle City Studios is where Alicia Keys records her album among many other artists, and I'm a mega fan of Ms. Keys. Joining us at Jungle City Studios were members of our community, members of the music world, the press, and others. It was amazing fun with great energy there, especially if you're a passionate music fan. I had a chance there to talk quite a bit with Jungle City Studios owner Ann Mincelli and Dave Kutch from the Mastering Palace. They both worked with Alicia Keys for years. I also had a chance to hear Dave talk in Las Vegas recently, and he seems like an endless supply of great music industry experience, info, and stories. Anyway, both Ann and Dave shared many stories with us from their time working with Alicia Keys. Most interesting to me was the detailed story behind my favorite song by Alicia Keys, a song called 101. Anyway, it was awesome having discussions like that and being able to talk about it in such detail with the folks who worked on several albums I love. Ann Mincelli also gave us copies of Alicia's latest album titled Here on CD, and even cooler, she gave us these. I think this is a test vinyl pressing of the new album. I don't think this one's even out yet in commercial form, so that's very cool to have this already. And anyway, Ann and Dave autographed this one, which is totally groovy, and I want to thank Ann, Dave, and of course Alicia Keys for the gift of these albums. Friday was Exhibitor Setup Day. Marjorie Baumert and Ramsey Thurber from Rocky Mountain Audio Fest actually flew in to help us throughout the weekend. The Can Jam New York volunteers were also amazing, working through some long registration lines, long hours, and never offering anything other than smiles through it all. Some of them hung out with us long after setup and show hours and at the events we went to, and they were great fun to be with. Ethan's family was there, my family was there, my son walked around the show selling Can Jam t-shirts, and Joe and Brian worked their tails off, working with the exhibitors throughout setup days and also throughout the show. On Friday night, the night before Can Jam's official start, Sennheiser had a party at their Soho Sennheiser pop-up store. Now, we were supposed to go, but exhibitor setup ran later than we anticipated at the hotel, so we just missed the party. But we heard that community members, press, and others stopped by to snack and drink with Sennheiser, and perhaps most of all to hear the new Sennheiser HE1 flagship system, the new Orpheus. Saturday and Sunday, Can Jam was rockin'. Wow, it was really, really busy, especially on Saturday. There are just too many highlights to go over here, but the Sennheiser HE1, Hi-Fi Man's Shangri-La, and the Smith Realizer systems were always busy, and I heard a lot of buzz about all three of those. I spent about half the first day in seminars and discussion panels covering topics including virtual reality, the future of headphones, headphones and high-res music from the music industry perspective, and audio precision seminars about audio specs and what they don't tell you, and one dedicated to headphone measurements. 
Like I said earlier, CanJam is intended to be the living embodiment of what we discuss as a community on HeadFi's forums. So a lot of the gear that's talked about on HeadFi was available to listen to at the show. I mean, pretty much everything you see talked about a lot on the forums was probably there. Now, if you want to see some specific pre-show gear highlights, make sure to check out the CanJam New York preview video if you haven't already. On Sunday night after the show, given that it was Super Bowl Sunday, many of us, community members and exhibitors, we reserved our own exclusive area of Bullmore Bowling Alley right in Times Square with six lanes of bowling of our own for a party that we called Super Bowling. We bowled, we ate, we drank, we watched the Super Bowl, and what an amazing game that was, by the way. One of the best games of any kind I've seen in years. Anyway, we had a fantastic time. It was a fun way to end the weekend. So while Can Jam New York was, again, perhaps our best one yet, Can Jam is always about more than just what happens at the show during show hours. If you haven't been to a Can Jam before, please make sure to check out the schedule at canjamglobal.com so that you can see if there's one coming up that's close to you. And even if there's not one close to you, maybe there's one you can plan a trip around. Our next one is Can Jam Singapore 2017 on March 11th and 12th, and we'll be posting our Can Jam Singapore preview video on HeadFi TV very, very soon. Again, in addition to the gear, more than the gear, what makes these events special are the friendships and fun that come with bringing a bunch of like-minded enthusiasts from many different backgrounds and places together to hang out. Even at CanJam Singapore last year, we couldn't wait for CanJam to start, so a bunch of us who flew in got together with some Singapore community members at the hotel the night before to have a mini-meet and a get-together. Now, people brought their own gear, I brought some gear, and we passed the gear around to share and enjoy. Also, later that weekend, we had a Can Jam Singapore Go-Kart Grand Prix at KF1 Karting. Another night, a whole bunch of us went out to Chomp Chomp to enjoy some late night local food and ice cream. Seriously, you have to get to a Can Jam if you haven't yet been to one. And if you have been to one, you already know how special, how fun it is. And so we'll see you there again. Thanks to all the community members, volunteers, and the exhibitors who came in from everywhere to make Can Jam New York 2017 an amazing event. I know there are a good number of you heading to Singapore to join us there too. And I can't wait to see you again soon.